I'm Lil John Pai, and I've decided to make a few tutorials for RuneScape for things which people commonly ask me. So, as you can probably tell, the first one is going to be on those puzzle boxes that you get in Clues and Monkey Madness. So, without further ado, first up, I'm just going to go through it quickly for people who just want a quick overview of how to do it roughly and don't want to sit through a whole walkthrough. So bear with me, I will do a walkthrough afterwards, but for now I'm just going to go through it quickly. So, first up, you do the top row, left to right, the row underneath that, left to right, the row underneath that, left to right, and then you do the two bottom rows together, but two at a time, left to right, believe it or not. So you do one, two, three, and then you'll be left with three in that corner and one gap which fits perfectly. You just have to rotate them. You have to trust me on this one. There are three terms which I will use during this explanation. The first two are easy. They're a piece, which is a piece of the board. The gap, which is the gap on the board. And the last one is a bit difficult to understand, but by the end of this I'm sure you'll understand what it actually is. I call it a square whilst I'm doing this, and it consists of the gap and three pieces around the gap. Now these three pieces, you can rotate them around into any position, which helps you move things through the board, because through rotating them around, you can move pieces around the board by moving them to overlapping squares. It's a little bit difficult, but I'll explain it during the walkthrough again for you to understand it. Okay, as you probably noticed, the clue has moved around a bit. That's because when I first decided to do this movie, I thought I'd record it and then just narrate over how, how, me doing it. It didn't work that way, basically. It didn't have in the recording what I wanted to show you, and narrating over it was just a pain in the ass because Camtasia was being a tosser. So, I've decided instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrate it as I do it. So bear with me, because... Uh, I haven't got everything in there that I need. Right. <coughs> Should we start? Okay, first up, we are going to do the top three on the left ones first. That's one, two, three. So, as you can see, the, the Jagex have been nice. The first one is done for us. Um, so next we're going to move on to the next one, which is this one, which is even nicer. So let's move this down. Done. Right, now we need his top left ear. So we're going to move this one. As I'm moving this one, I'm going to show the squares which I'm moving it through, just so you can understand the squares a little bit better, because I assume you're still confused. The best way to think of the squares is to think of them as like discs that you can spin. Okay, next one. Right, now that's in place, we're going to talk about getting these last two in a line in. This is where thinking about the squares and these discs that you can rotate helps you. Because if, uh, if you, well, oh, yeah, you'll see. So, <coughs> we're going to move this around, and what we're going to do is we're going to move these two into these two positions. And then if you see, if you think about it as a disc, as a square that you can rotate, you rotate it around once, and it appears in this position. So, we're going to move the, the second one up to the top here. Done. Then we're going to move the one that should be in that corner below it. So, our oh, bloody typical. One second. Takes a little bit of throwing around. So, as we can see, they're in the square along with the gap. And then all we have to do is click one click 2, and they're in place. So, move on to the next line, as I said. So, we're going to move down, and once again I'm going to show you the squares as I move, squares I'm moving through as I move around these, just as I'm passing through them, so you can understand the squares a little bit better. Because I don't think even I understood them when I explained them to myself, so... It's, it's also good, you notice this, this is a good explanation of moving the gap to where you want it, treating it as a piece. So we're going to move this, we need this gap here to be here. So what we're going to do is just going to move it around the piece that we want, not moving the piece, and then click the piece up to where we want it. And we want the left of his gob. <coughs> Come on. 
Now uh, that's in place. Now we're to back to the two on the end, and we're going to do exactly the same as what we did last time. We're going to move them along, and we're going to get this one here. And then we want the one underneath that. There it is. Be next to it. And then we go again. We're in our square. Everything's in our square. The gap and the two pieces we want to place. Click, click. There's that end done. Right. Next up, the next line, left to right. So, we're going to take the far left one again. Nice easy one for us. Then we're going to move that one there. That's nice. Then we want his left boob. Then we're stuck with the left, the last two again. So, once again, we're going to place the right boob and part of his shield up here. Then the end of his shield. Oh, see, not quite often you'll get in this position where the two are the wrong way around. Wrong way? Hmm. Wrong way. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take this one square below where we want it. So we've got a gap. We don't leave this here because we've got no gap to move the other one back. So we move it one square below where we want it. Move this into the place where we wanted it originally. Then we're just going to create the gap and move it up again. Take note of that kind of position because it uh, happens quite a lot. And then we're going to move the gap into our square again so that we can move it round. And voila. Right. The last two, as I said before, we do them differently. But like the ones on the end, we're going to set them in two and the gap, set both of them there and the gap in one square, and then we're just going to move the pieces round. So what we need is we need this one here. Right, move these two round. You see here, these two are in this position. And we're going to move the gap round, and we're going to rotate our square again. And there we go. Also, it's worth noting that you can have this square in any place. So you can have it in this place, this place, this place, any which way you want, just provided that when you rotate it, it goes in the right place. And it's a lot easier getting it across two like these, because if we wanted to do it top and bottom, we'd start interfering with the ones we've already got. And I don't think I need to tell you, we don't move the ones we've already got in place. So. Let's do the next two. So we want the bottom left leg ahead of this one. So we move the leg. If they're next to each other, don't worry, just do one piece at a time because it just overcomplicates you things if you need to move them two at a time. You see now they're next to each other. Move the gap into the square. Rotate round. And we've got the next two in place. Right. Next we want his belly and the leg. See these two, once again, these two are completely the wrong way around. So what we do is we move his belly into this position. Then what we do is we get this out of the way. No, wait, done that wrong. So what we do is we get the leg in this position, the belly around like that. We're down. Right. <coughs> Actually, I'd, yeah, fuck it. Right, remember me telling you that these last four are magical, and if you rotate them, they happen perfectly? Voila. Don't ask why it happens. I don't think it, even I know why it always works, that these are in the right order round. But it works. Don't question it. Get your clues done. Get your stuff. Get out of the way. OK, I'll just show you the other clues completed, so you can use them as a reference. I hope you enjoyed my first guide and let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like because I want to make more guides but if you don't like certain things tell me so I can make them better and goodbye, thank you.